over there. So you can solve it by saying, so therefore you get 1 over h plus t over k equals to rho e 2 pi r l delta t divided by R rho I two pi R yeah. right and then square root of yeah. I don't think that's necessary. Oh, did I miss a game? Yeah, sorry. <coughs> Why is it what? Why is it split up at all? So you can read better? I can write easier? I was planning on sliding it and writing here, but then I found some space here. I'm, I'm solving an optimization problem in my head. Optimize the space. Actually, it's kind of interesting. If you think about it, you all solve optimization problems every day, almost at every instant. Right? How are we solving these optimization problems? Basically, something like a neural network. Right? I mean, you can't even imagine how many times every day you solve optimization problems. Knowingly or unknowingly, yeah. So, how does this, yeah. this is probably outside the scope of this course. Not what is it? But how, that never how stopped me from talking. What? How does our body even like react to stimuli but use like chemicals to produce like thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> Very good question. That just blows my mind. You have to first explain to me what is a thought. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I thought we all kind of know that since we are born, pretty much, right? You can kind of, I mean, you can, I think you can, I mean, that's basically a touching philosophy now more than anything else. I mean, you can certainly go deeper into this, but at the end of the day, you say, well, we need to have something more than just a set of, set of just physical processes. It's a very simple question. Is a human body simply a set of physical processes and nothing beyond that? And the answer is, nobody knows. Right? And if it's just a set of physical processes, what is my motive? What, what am I optimizing? So Mandel, of course, has his philosophy, right? But I don't know. We can talk about that after class. <laughs> Sorry? I have my philosophy about universe and life, and I have my philosophy, but. What do you think about Trump? <laughs> what? I told you I do not know who you're talking about. <laughs> I do not play cards. Why can you play cards and say, what's the Trump? <laughs> I don't go to Vegas, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the delta t term um, and a square root, um, like, what are we doing with, with imaginary numbers? Is that always positive? Oh, this was, there's nothing. Delta T is the magnitude of delta D, right? So if you remember, I, don't, I didn't even put what dimension because obviously it's going to be T hot minus T cold because it has one loss. So the magnitude. All right, so we can cancel 2 pi R, 2 pi R, L, right? And therefore, you can see that is, so therefore, so this is simply rho E delta D divided by R rho I Okay. Okay. All right, so you know from this, it's easy enough to see. Therefore, you can simply solve for t. T is simply 
K times this rho E delta T divided <coughs> by R rho I K square root minus 1 over H. Which you can also write it as you can bring this K inside. So therefore you get square root of rho E delta T times K divided by R rho I times K. Oh, sorry, K is gone. Minus K over H. Right? OK, great. So that's, that's fine. That's great. Uh, so that's obviously, as I told you, that's a sort of one parameter optimization. OK? So now the question is, what do we, uh, how do we solve the problem? Because in this case, I just told you r is the radius of the pipe, right? But the last time we solved the problem, in, how do we get radius? Last time we actually solved a problem where we are trying to get radius, again based on minimizing cost. Because in reality, your process flow diagram will essentially tell you the flow rate, right? It will tell you the flow rate and the temperature. It won't tell you the radius, right? So in some sense, now you can say, see that now we have two, actually our cost for this pipe will actually have many different parts. One will be the cost of the pipe, right? One will be the cost of the insulation. One will be the cost of the pressure drop across the pipe. And then there will be a cost of the energy loss of the pipe, right? So there are actually going to be four different costs. In reality, there's going to be additional cost of the capital cost of the pump. And therefore, you can start seeing that how complex optimization problems can get very, very quickly. OK? Does it make sense? So now we're going to do a two-parameter optimization, which essentially is a combination of this problem and the problem we solved last time when we were trying to optimize for the radius of the pipe. So now our two unknowns are going to be, what will be the two unknowns? Radius and thickness. Radius of the pipe and thickness of the insulation. Excellent. So that's how you can see it becomes basically a two-variable optimization. OK? Now, mathematically, you will see this two-variable optimization will be a very simple problem. I, you know, I worked very hard to create as many problems as I could. I created so many problems when I came to the equations and I, I can't solve it analytically. <laughs> so I will probably do some of those problems next class, but this is a problem I created which I can easily solve. And so I'm going to actually do this problem for you because it actually, the answer can be obtained and it's an interesting problem. All right, so, so now we're going to solve base, as I told you, we're going to, the problem we're going to solve is and in reality, you know, you could have always told me, well, I still have to prove to you that this T is actually a maximum or represents a maximum or a minimum, and you know you can do that, of course, by taking second order derivative. But a lot of times you can also physically argue whether that will represent a minimum or a maximum. Okay? All right, so uh, let's do that problem where now you have four contributions. So remember, the Poisson's law equation was Q equals to, uh, what was it like in there? A to L? I. I. Delta P R of four, that part I know, but what's the eight? I think it's eight mu L. Yeah, eight mu L. I think that's it. Sorry? I think that's it. That's it, okay. I can never remember this factor. It's easier for me to derive than to actually try to remember. So I just but anyway, I think it's I we derived it last class, so I think I kind of remember it. Okay, good. So now let's look at the cost. So now the cost has four terms. What is the cost of pumping? Which we last time said is Q times the flow rate. So pi, uh, so delta P therefore is A Q L Q square, right? Divided by pi r to the power 4, and then eta, and then rho for pumping. Right? Which is basically the rho, rho cost of energy. Right? Alright. So that's the uh, that's the cost of pumping. I have a question. Is that yeah. taking cost per unit time? 
Right, yeah, yeah. All these costs is for unit time, and then capital cost is this cost. That's why taking the capitalization factor. So then, uh, plus you have the cost of the of the pipe itself, as we said, which is r to power n. Now today, I'm going to start taking r to the power n. I'm going to just say that the cost of the pipe is simply equal to the cost of the material we are using. Okay. So the cost of the material we are using is simply two pi r l times the thickness of the metal, thickness of the pipe. Right. So that's not the same as the thickness of the insulation. Right? Okay? And then of course I multiply by the rho for the metal. And then what else? And we factor on. Great. Now of course you have two other costs which actually are already on the board. Over there, sorry. I cringe every time now. Okay. No, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I don't learn. I mean, I, I learned. <laughs> I'm clumsy. Certain things I learn fast. Certain things I learn very slow. Certain things I never learn. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So, and those two terms right at the top. Okay, so those terms on the extreme, on the right top, and those terms on the right, at the left, left bottom. Right, so we can actually just add that. So plus rho e. Now, of course, you can see that is an energy term. This is also an energy term, but these are basically different energies. Right, because it's the energy that is coming in from, in terms of the heat. So that is coming in as electricity, most likely. So rho e times 2 pi r L delta t divided by 1 over H 